Um, removing the sump was one of the most difficult things um, that we had to do. So we started by forcing a screwdriver into these holes by tapping on it with a hammer all the way around. At a certain point it looked like it was not going to move at all and then you can even see the indents as what what we have made over there and uh, at a certain point I could see a little crack in something that looked like double-sided tape uh, I think somebody has worked on this engine before and this is why we have this type of scenario and in any case so then we started uh, when we saw the crack we inserted a few screwdrivers next to one another over there systematically we got this thing off um, then I thought there was a little oil in this thing left but after we've opened up this thing um, there was almost a war between me and the oil inside of this thing in any case so we have a lot of bolts over here that you have to unscrew before you can even start uh, by trying to remove this sump okay so after we removed all the bolts um, it was still stuck okay stuck in place because of this thing that looks like double-sided tape in any case bolts all around over here on the edge as you can see but also on the front it's actually at a different angle over there okay um, so you will see different angle and uh, so yeah let's remove these bolts and let me show you quickly uh, what do you find inside okay so all the bolts removed there we go as I said <laughs> it was not as clean as it is now it was definitely not okay um, my mechanic told me so I have to take um, diesel and a brush and then that is what I use to clean all of this up okay it worked okay over here we've got now the pickup the oil pickup uh, also you've got two screws or two bolts that's keeping this thing in place and if you remove the bolts then you can remove this the pickup itself let's see there it goes this you have to untighten over there okay now so yeah that was uh, so at that stage we still could not turn this over and you can see uh, we have managed to uh, free it from the rust um, even if we have had oil inside of the piston or combustion chambers it still didn't want to move um, so but what we have done is the crank was in such a position that we can only loosen up one of the two pistons so we've done that we've loosened it up and then with the back of one hammer and another hammer we uh, or not me actually my uh, mechanic punched out uh, the piston from the back so we have now the piston over here uh, this the, as you can see already removed the rings um, we'll get to that a little bit later on in any case so then it was still stuck but then we used uh, quite a big spanner over here and we turned it over and it started to move <laughs> and uh, so we could get hold or get access to the bottom part or the bolts over there and we can loosen up the second 
uh, piston so we punched out that one as well and what was interesting or not interesting very nice to see is as we turned this wheel over you will see oh this thing came loose again you can see the these um, well, diesel been squirted out of these two uh, injectors or whatever you want to call it over there so um, that was now an indication obviously that the diesel pump is working okay um, so yeah that is what we have done um, when we took out the piston the rings were sort of um, embedded embedded into the holes so what we had to do well after forcing it out one should be very careful when forcing it out as well because obviously one can make uh, damage the piston but also you don't want to push it sideways when you clean these things so uh, what you do is you keep the ring close you use the ring to clean the uh, the piston the piston head so but you keep it in such a way that it's close you don't want to twist it around too much like this and this is why you need to push it down a little bit like this so that you have a guidance almost okay uh, so you guide yourself like this there we go okay um, not too much though there we go something like that cleaning out the pistons me and the rockers okay so when I cleaned out the the sump what I've done is I've used the brush and diesel and this sort of gives you a diesel oil mixture and I'm using it currently and I've placed the rockers inside of it over here as you can see uh, the last time when I checked it ah uh, it moves when you hammer on it but I don't like to hammer on it so yeah um, also just moves slightly but you can even see over here let me take it out I'm making a mess again but in any case there we go that one and that one you can see the difference in angle between the two so yeah it has moved um, I'm sort of grateful for that didn't move on its own though it looks like I'm saying yeah, it has moved on its own no it didn't move on its own and uh, turn it upside down a little bit over there so that the well can go into all the holes and hopefully it will work thank you very much guys see you in the next video